on the Swedish shoreline. Very good. Oh, I love that. Looks so good. I hope I'm going the right way. Good old Google Maps. Well, I think this is it. Yeah, I won't be able to fit past there. I can just park it okay. here for now. Yeah. Oh, I think you've got to go for it. <laughs> Part of this whole operation is getting into the boat and out. Wow, was that ever beautiful? That's a beaver lodge. Where beavers and perhaps also muskrat would live. This is the great Canadian outdoors. We're not even far from the city. I mean, this is Ontario for you, land of lakes. Lots of pines and balsams and birch and around here there's oaks and I think there's some maples. Water's pretty cold right now. It was like two degrees this morning, so it's been pretty cool, which is actually nice after the Saudi Arabian desert. But I'm still trying to decide if I'll take a quick jump in this water. A quick is the operative word because it's going to be an in and out. I think it's got to be done anyway. Oh, it is so nice to be on the water again. 
back in Ontario. I really miss this type of stuff. And this is just a small lake close to the city. But you don't have to go far in Canada or at least in Ontario to you know to find places like this. You know, get out of the city. Oh, this is really really nice. A big pine up here. Either I'm guessing it's either a red or a white pine. I can't quite see. If it's got five needles, it's white. And if it's only got two needles in bunches, I think it's a red. That's a white pine. Each set of uh, needles are in uh, groups of five, which is indicative of white pine. Just think W5. This here is a cedar tree. Ah, oh, the smell, the smell of cedar. This reminds me so much of my hunting days with my dad. We used to hunt varying hares in uh, cedar groves. Beaver dam. There's been a bit of activity around here. This is a well-worn trail. I'm guessing from the beaver. I think I'll take a peek. I don't know if that's beaver poop, but I'm gonna guess it is. I've never seen beaver poop before. Feels like beaver poop. Smells like beaver poop. Tastes like beaver poop. Hell, it is beaver poop. I didn't really taste it. Anyway, even if I did taste it, I wouldn't know if it tastes like beaver poop or not because I've never had it before. At least not purposely. Good old Birch Park. The Great White North Fire Starter. Boy, this is beautiful. By the way, I'm wearing paddling shoes with a neoprene socks. So, you gotta expect to get your feet wet in a pack boat. Pack raft, sorry. Ooh. And the neoprene will, the water that gets in will warm up and your feet won't get really, really cold. Just trying to catch some trout. I got a silver and blue Len Thompson spoon on. I'm trying to show up my sister and uh, her partner. Because they've been out for a couple hours, they haven't caught nothing. It's 
cold enough that you uh, have to have a fire. And I'm gonna take a very, very, very quick dip in the water. Hopefully I won't have a heart attack. So let's see how it goes. I don't know how good this is, but the Canadians don't want to go swimming and I'm going to have to do it. Here goes. Uh... Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. And that's why we don't want to go swimming. <laughs> Actually. Once you're in. Once you're in, it's much better. It is cold, but it's not as cold as I thought it would be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't bring a towel out. 50, 58, 58.9 degrees, whatever that is, will do the conversion. Yeah. Well, there's a brave so man. <laughs> there's a brave man. Early May. Suck in my gut. <laughs> okay. Uh. Rene, I mean, uh, sorry, Andre. Rene. <laughs> that's not Rene, Andre the Andre. chef. Yeah. yeah. Slap me next time I <laughs> say that. Does Joey ever call you Rene? No worries. <laughs> I know Rene, he's a good guy. He's yeah, okay. he and Rene are good friends, honestly. Yeah. Pork yeah. ribs. Pork ribs, parboiled by Rod before you got here. And these will be sizzling pretty soon with the asparagus on top. Pork ribs, <laughs> asparagus. <laughs> A fire. The fire looks better in the evening. My beloved sister. <laughs> <laughs> and the cat. And what the else? cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Mm -hmm. I guess you're going to put the sauce on a little bit later. Yeah. Okay. Why well, we could put some on now. It doesn't hurt to put it on early. Yeah, this is almost done. Now. Yeah, Joy, I think we can put the sauce on pretty soon. Okay, yeah, the sauce is there. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> on the Swedish shoreline. Oh, look, that looks so good. Yeah. Hopefully they're not dry. Coming from Saudi Arabia, I'm trying to eat as much pork as I can. <laughs> <laughs> and drinking alcohol. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. <laughs> Andre's got red wine, I've got hot sake. Right, you often need some sake. Yeah, just grab a glass. I think food always tastes better when you're outdoors. Oh, it does. It seems for some reason. This is great weather where it's nice and cool. Yep. I want to be cool tonight. <clears throat> We're pretty fortunate with the weather though. I think it's three degrees. We got beautiful sunshine. You brought the good weather with us with you when you came over. <laughs> Go ahead and eat. Look at that. A little bit of action shot. <laughs> wow. Asparagus looks really mm. good. 
<laughs> it is really good. I haven't had asparagus for a long time. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Yes, it's very really hot. Yeah. Mm. No tender, right? No oh, yeah. problem. Oh, yeah, it's very nice and tender, it looks like. <clears throat> I don't know if they fall off the bone, but they seem to be. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 